In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up your outcomes. The first thing that you'll need to do is click on the outcomes. From here, you will have some instructions on how to set up your outcomes. I have set up my outcomes for my current unit on sound. If I click on this, I can see that for this unit, there are four different outcomes or four different standards. I can further investigate what these standards are by clicking on them. I have created my outcomes so that the criteria, the specific criteria for each of the levels of proficiency are written in a table that I have embedded. This table shows me and students what it means to be a four, a three, a two, a one, or a zero. I have done this for each of the standards or outcomes that I have embedded. Currently, there is not a way to specifically name and describe what each proficiency level means in outcomes. And that is because they have this new feature of mastery and from here, you can align your mastery level descriptions with points and colors. And this will now apply to all of your outcomes. So for me, I am actually going to change this. I am going to call a four, I'm just going to call it exceeds proficiency, and it is worth four points. Proficient is a three, three points. Approaching proficiency is a two. And foundational proficiency is a one. And finally, no evidence is a zero. I chose to take the numbers off of the front of these descriptions because of how it ends up looking for students when they view the rubric. And now I'm going to hit Save Mastery Scale. The other thing that you can do that will then apply to all of the outcomes that you add into your Outcomes Mastery Gradebook is this feature called Calculation. And with your Mastery Calculation, you can set it to view the work samples that students submit in different ways. So you could have a decaying average, number of times, most recent score, or highest score. For me, I have chosen to use the highest score. And then you would hit Save Mastery Calculation. To add more uh, outcomes, I have gotten my Unit 1 sound. I actually am going to add another outcome that is not from unit one, but it's just general. So I'm gonna add an outcome. And interestingly, it's going directly into the unit one sound. But this outcome is going to be the science and engineering practice of uh, making models. And to describe the outcome, I am going to add my table that shows the specific language for each level of proficiency. So I would go into insert table and I have criteria four, three, two, one, zero, and then the descriptors. So I need a six by two table. And then I simply just need to add the information. I am not going to go all the way through and add all of these pieces, but this is how I do add the information so that students can have access to what each level means. You would come down and hit save. This is how you can create outcomes in your Canvas course.